in this video, we will make this projection mapping show complete ground up but faster than you may think. Me and you, we will learn 1. How easy and fast Heavy M is when it comes to projection mapping. 2. One of the workflows to make a complete show super fast. And we will learn many tiny tips and tricks as we go along this journey. If you are new to projection mapping, you are going to be surprised how easy it can be. And if you were a pro projection mapper already, get yourself ready for your brains blown out because you're about to see some advanced thing being so easy in this software. Hi, my name is Zunaid Sabir Ahmed and let's start with what do we have here today? Let's see what do we have here today. So we have some board made cubes here. Some are one cubic feet and some are six inches and we have a Z branding stand. So we have set a projector right opposite to the installation and made sure the projection covers the whole area that we want to play with. Let's go inside Heavium. Okay, I have invested my whole life and career behind projection mapping for past 14 years and I found this opposite workflow pipeline from Heavium and loved it. Let me explain. In most of the projection mapping software and the workflow, you turn on the projector on your third or fourth step on the pipeline. In Heavium, we start with setting up the projector output first. My projector here is 1900 by 1200. Let me resize my composition here accordingly. And then the fun starts. I can just drag and drop preset shapes onto my boxes. Making slices are so easy, especially when your magnetic snap is turned on. I could also draw with a pen, but since my shapes here are common, I'm using the preset shapes making it faster and oh we will use the pen very soon first let's draw the big boxes when i turn on the magnetic snap the points snap together and this gets glued this is good sometimes but sometimes it's not so use this tool carefully but peacefully then i draw my small boxes note that when i hold alter and drag this makes a copy and this saves a lot of time so this part we took a little bit time but absolutely not boring it's kind of drawing on a 3d but real world imagine you're working exactly like that but on a huge scale on a huge building yes trust me you can and the fun is going to be epic and trust me you can do it i'm going to tell you how later part of this video by the way for sanity Let's group big boxes and small boxes on separate groups and name them properly. This will save a lot of time later on, trust me. So please be organized. Now let's draw the background Z stand. First let's cross map this background, then another slice, but this time we draw it. Let's draw around the boxes on the front, the parts which will be blocking the background part. Then I set the top layer to mask. This will trim off the parts we don't want to see in the foreground. But now we have perfect slice for background. Let's put them on a group and call them Z. Now let's take a pen tool and draw the faces of the 3D Z extrusion. We will make two separate slices for Z cause the logo is two parted. That wasn't too hard, right? We have just got everything sorted. Let's dive into making a show. Okay, making show in Heavium is fun. You can start super easy and the result is amazing. Also, you can do many things if you are an advanced nerd. So let's start easy. So we will have all our groups started in our first scene. Then we will select it and press Command D or Control D to duplicate because we have sorted our groups in some way and we want to use the benefit. If we make a new queue, this would mess up our arrangement. This is useful sometimes, but not for our case. So let's duplicate each time. So we select the groups we want to play with. Then we press this magical button called randomize. This is just so awesome. This is not going to give you right away an awesome look, but this gives you random presets each time you click. 
So I'm not saying that they are amazing each time wherever they come, but they are great at generating the first look where you can start and create your look. So in this workflow, we keep hitting the random to make random effects. If we find something we like, we store and tweak. Remember we sorted all slices to groups. This will help us to random effects onto selected groups or slice. Very nice, right? And of course, we can't help but come out of comfort and make our own looks. Since we have individual groups, we can assign effects to them and make unique looks. So we like a scene, we leave it and move on to the next. Now let's try the heavy and presets. They are also great starting point. So we can noodle the parameters to somewhere we like. And for the next one, I lose my patience again and use randomizer. You know, it's a great easy way to make cool things. Nice excuse, right? For the fifth scene, I need to be spacey. Let's add a media player here and place it properly so that it covers the whole area. And let's put a shader. Heavyem got amazing shaders by the way. So we can also tweak the shaders to match our mode. For the next scene, we copy the first scene, the group one, and paste it here. Let's paste two more copies. Remember, these sequences had them sorted into groups. Now let's edit each sequence. Again, selecting effects group-wise using randomizer, we hit a right spot, then we tweak. The next sequence, I play another shader on the player. Ah, this shader looks dope. And then add something on the ZBG with randomizer. Looks like something chaotic before breaking it down to the final logo. And the last scene, heavy M logo on the center. Now, I want the whole group to have something interesting color. Also, use snake on this like a chaser for Resolo. Let's see how this snake chases. This is how our snake goes and let's validate this path. Let's see how chase goes. Let's make it faster. This looks alright. Let's change the color. Let's wrap up the show making the process with a keyboard shortcut that would help us to place in sequence by the way i could just make it with sequencer inside heavy m but let's keep it simpler this time so for now we will hit spacebar matching the music and that's it before we get into watching what we have made i got a great news for you heavy m partnered with me and i am currently heavy m ambassador this gives my audience, you, a 15% discount. Use this promo code to get yours. And now let's see what we have made together. So cool, right? Let me share one thing. If you have been watching my videos and you think that I can bring help to you in some way, resume advance, projection mapping, mad mapper, projection mapping, custom content creation, reach out to me. We will sort it out. Another thing, I have made projection mapping on the exact same surface with two more software, resume and mad mapper. Check out here for that video and hi. My name is Zunaid Sabbir Ahmed. I'm from a beautiful country called Bangladesh. And check out here. If you like my this channel, you're going to like my next channel. All about stage shows.